I'm Brendan Carroll of the Galway City Tribune, here with a look at some of the stories we've got for you this week. One of the main traffic arteries into Galway City Centre is set to be closed for two months, likely to result in huge traffic congestion on other routes. It's to allow work on lowering the level of the road under the bridge at Loch Atalia. The awe factor is provided this week by the children of Scullage and Salt Hill, who were agog with excitement as a class project saw the hatching of their baby chicks, with ducklings expected to arrive on the scene soon. A father and his two sons, accused of producing weapons in the course of a fight in Knocknacarra on St. Patrick's Day, were refused bail when they appeared in court. Two other men are charged with having samurai swords during the late night row. Galway City Council has given the green light to controversial plans for a new Lidl supermarket and off-licence in Knocknacarra. It's expected that local residents will appeal the decision to onboard Planola. Denise McNamara reports on how the fastest growing sport in the world, described as something akin to rugby on skates, is taking off here. The Galway City She Devils, the first roller derby team in the West, is made up of 25 active female members of all ages. Pride of place in our city sports coverage is given to the achievement of the girls of Taylor Sill in becoming the first city school to win the FAI Senior Schools All-Ireland Final. Galway FC will be looking to register a first win of the season when they host Shamrock Rovers in Eamon DC Park on Friday night and in hurling, Galway's qualification for the league quarterfinals hinges on them bringing a measure of consistency to an inconsistent campaign when they travel to face All-Ireland champions Clare in Ennis on Sunday. We've all that and much more in this week's Galway City Tribune in the shops from early Friday morning or you can buy it online at connachttribune.ie.